Hi everyone, so um, tonight I am going to unbox my Kakimori steel um, nib. So this is a dome nib. So I learned about, about this when I went to my first ever fountain pen meet just over a week ago. And uh, as you can see, this Kakimori nib, dome nib has this manual. I honestly don't understand what's written here because it's in Japanese characters. Here also. I believe this one indicates the artist behind this Kakimori design. So this is it. <clears throat> it's actually quite nifty because the box is made up of material that is um, recyclable. At the same time, I believe biodegradable here. So I got this from one of the members of the Fountain Pen Network Philippines, the FPNP. If you haven't joined that and if you're a fountain pen enthusiast, maybe you should join because I get a lot of tips about fountain pens from that group. So here it is. It's made up steel nib. There's another version of this, which is brass. So as you can see, this is a dome nib there. So the reason why I bought this one is because I'm going to use this for swatching um, my fountain pen inks okay so that i know how they would look like if i use um thick thick uh stub nibs for example or a nib that is as, as big as 1.1 perhaps and then uh another reason is that i wanted to learn how to do calligraphy although not that seriously since i also just love writing so i sort of have developed my own uh, i sort of developed my own cursive style of writing that's not even possibly part of the official uh, fonts for calligraphy. Here it is. There you go. So, um, since I didn't order the the nib holder, which is made of cherry wood, Sakura cherry wood, I believe, uh, it's I, I find it a bit pricey considering that this nib is already pricey. So I thought of um, just using another nib holder. Which in this case is this one, which is just arrived today. This is Tachikawa nib holder. It's made of plastic. And um, uh, the reason why I got this one is because one of the members of the FPNP during the pen meet actually used this pair for swatching ink. So I thought if she can fit this one in this Tachikawa nib holder, then I probably could also. So this is my first time to actually fit this nib into the nib holder. Uh, let me just get my eyeglasses. So here it is. And then I'd probably do another video on swatching. Okay. So there it fits. So that's the that's the good thing about Tachikawa because it's really just um, about uh, less than five dollars. It's only about two hundred twenty here in the Philippines. Although the shipping uh, did cost me a bit because it came from Artillery Philippines, which is based in Bacolod. And it took a while, more than a week, because of the typhoons, two typhoons that we experienced here in the country recently. So here it is. So I'll probably do another video. This is officially just an unboxing video of the Kakimori Need and the Tachikawa Need Holder. So I'll do another video about swatching, perhaps. But uh, let me just show you one of the shimmering inks I got recently, which is for my fountain pen. And this one is... Uh, Shimmering Seas by Diamine. Uh, a lot of people recommended this one, so I thought, why not, right? So, let me just try this one for now. I'll do another uh, writing sample maybe uh, next week when I'm no longer that busy. So, this one is my, uh, this is my notebook, okay? So, let me just show you what this particular uh, shimmering ink looks like. So I'm doing this video at night time. Okay, just tip it again here. Okay, and then there you go. So this is Diamine Shimmering Seas. And um, the reason why Kakimore is um, has taken a lot of fountain pen um, enthusiasts recently is because you can use this for, well, first for sampling or swatching the fountain inks that you have, as well as because this one can 
allows you to vary your um, lines there okay. and then here you can vary the thickness like that then, um, so with using this nib is actually quite useful especially when you have inks that uh, show variation okay that show um, sort of granulating pattern as in the case of shimmering this is actually shimmery it's not that clear now because it's nighttime but I probably I probably at of this video I probably take a photo once this ink has dried just to, just for you to see how it looks like really when it's dry okay so I'll just end the video right here and so I had just forgotten to mention that one of the reasons why uh, Kakimori Nive is such a favorite amongst the fountain pen users or enthusiasts is because it's really quite a breeze to clean. So you see, um, sometimes people use a uh, glass deep pen. Sometimes uh, they use artist brushes in order to swatch their ink. But you know, uh, if, if you're a painter, I'm sure you've experienced how difficult it is sometimes to take the stain out of your hair, of your brushes, of your brushes. So with, uh, with this leaf, it's quite a breeze to clean. So there you have it. So, and then you can just dip it in another ink that you want to swatch and then clean it the same way as I did just, just now there. And it's actually quite a toffee because it's made of steel weed. I heard that using the brass lid uh, feels different. Uh, a friend of mine uh, said that it's more buttery in terms of uh, the feel of writing with it. So, but uh, the, the advantage of using a steel lid is because uh, this one can make crisp line. So I have a few artist friends who actually use this nib for sketching. So if you don't know, Leaves like this, Japanese leaves like this, are actually used for um, sketching manga characters. Okay, so that's why uh, Japan is actually famous for these kinds of nibs. There are, so, there are quite a, a lot of types of nibs out there uh, for different purposes, for calligraphy and for sketching. But somehow, um, uh, the Kakimori nib is one of the famous ones. They're actually quite hard to obtain. It just so happened that one of the members of the, my fountain pen network sells one but in limited numbers. So here it is by the way. This is the Shimmery Seas uh, Diamond Shimmery Seas Fountain Ink. Uh, I think I laid it down thick. That's why you cannot see the shimmery and it's also nighttime. But it's actually good. It's like um, comparing it to the mineral, it looks like uh, azurite. The color is about it's close to azurite. And uh, I liked it. This is uh, one of the deepest blue uh, inks that I have tried so far. My favorite, my current favorite is uh, the one by uh, the Konpeki by Hiroshizuku. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that is one of my favorite. But it's bright blue. But this one is deep blue. I also like it. I have, uh, I actually love using or writing in blue inks. It's my favorite fountain pen ink color. And I've used quite a bit, a number of um, inks from different brands. So I, I like it. It's not that shimmery yet. Maybe it's nighttime also, that's why I can see it. But I'll try to take a photo of this maybe tomorrow and Thursday night already. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you do like uh, what you see here in this channel, do uh, like and subscribe so that you will get updates about my recent uh, videos that I upload. Okay? Bye for now.